What is up, all subscribers to the Dirty Bird Nation? I'm gonna do a quick review today on our um, trailer. We picked this up in Van Alstein, Texas. This is the, I believe it's the 70 T is in Tom, V is in Victor. 70 TV landscaping trailer. Um, pretty happy with it overall. We'll get into some of the some of the pros, cons, and a little bit of what we're seeing next. Sorry, girl, I got a ghost. Yeah, you know this ain't the old me. Try to keep it on the low. Okay, Bird Nation, here we go, here we go. Uh, got the uh, big text, big text rather 70 TV landscaping trailer said this is gonna be a 16 foot tandem axle trailer um, it is high side walled love that um, I believe these axles I'm pretty sure this is the 30 3,500 pound axle set up um, this is this is uh, kind of gonna lead into our 2019 setup here and um, we're gonna cover a few things obviously we need some upgrades and gonna have to make some changes probably next year 2020 we'll make those changes but I mainly want to get this out here because it's gonna remind me of kind of the the start of the full time I mean we've we've kind of moved into necessary full time and uh, I say full time it's full time for me it's not a five day a week we're not rolling five day a week man somebody is shooting some big boar stuff back there hope you got hope you guys can hear this and um, the wind is not too bad here in white right we're fixing to get some storms rolling in this evening and we're going to get into a little bit of the product review here so 16 foot trailer got this at uh oh, it's the big text dealer here in here in van it was in van alstein texas great group of folks uh took care of me got in there got out they did an outstanding job got it got it cleaned up got it ready to rock and roll 16 foot okay um fantastic construction fantastic construction it's got a heavy heavy uh, coat of paint on it it is holding up remarkably well pulls like a dream it pulls very nice no issues with the trailer whatsoever um, i love everything about how it's set up i love the, the high side walls this was kind of a, we were kind of making the decision whether we wanted to go enclosed or if we wanted to go with this and one of the biggest reasons is because our other 16 foot you have to forgive me this is the one that has been relegated to pulling to holding a little bit of junk until we get it hauled off our other 16 foot trailer was just pipe top one that i found had to do some welding and fix it and put a rear gate on it and all that so anyway that one's been kind of left to uh miscellaneous use the problem with it was is that we could not haul um we could not haul any mulch we really couldn't do anything with that trailer so we were kind of stuck pretty much just to hauling it hauling equipment we've hauled a lot of uh a lot of mulch with this thing already we've hauled off some debris we've done a lot to it so uh it's it's done extremely well i love everything about the trailer of course you know we got to go with our colors our colors are black and gold and of course big text just kind of fit that not to mention they're right here close so a few of the features that i really really liked in the trailer i love the the led lighting system led it's got a good it's got a really nice setup for the led the led lighting you know you don't have to have any auxiliary lights it's all pretty much on here heavy heavy construction getting into kind of the gauge on some of this steel uh very very thick very thick heavy build this is one of the, th the things that i really 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 like i love how on their heavier duty trailers the setup on the front is fantastic you got the removable coupler you can put if you want to go with kind of the panel hitch which i'm i'm trying to decide if if the panel hitch may make a little bit of a difference um you know i like the bulldog style hitches i have no issues with those i'm just kind of trying some different things out so if you guys have any ideas on or if you have some some reviews on or some opinions on the pennel versus kind of this sliding coupler type style uh, please let me know you know i, I know that I, I used to have a couple military trucks we bought and those all had you know their big heavy duty had the pennel hitch system um you know these these things they, they haul a little bit of weight not anything crazy but, you know, does a panel hitch make any difference here? Is it any better, worse? You know, give me some of your comments. I'm really not 100% sure, but I love the, the detachable style here. They give you the option. And that was one of the biggest reasons why I went with Big Techs. We looked at a lot of different trailers. Um, 
I just didn't find any that appeared to give you the options that this one gives you, okay? So, fantastic options. It's got the built-in breakaway for the brakes, trailer brakes, um, and, you know, just your standard, your standard uh, uh, jack on the trailer, okay? Easily removed, if something happens, you take it out, put a new one in. Very easy, simple design for me. That's what I liked. 3,500 pound axles. Now, I'm gonna say this. If I ever buy another damn trailer, I will never buy another trailer that has 3,500 pound axles. Just didn't think about it. I, I, I really didn't think about it. Um, I, I Frankly, I would have taken this trailer all day, every day with heavier, he, much heavier axles on it and been probably uh, a lot, lot happier with it. But, you know, it is what it is. Didn't think about it at the time. I mean, I knew I, knew I was gonna be okay with my purchase, but it would just really, really be nice in the event that you end up getting some heavier equipment, you're just putting the least amount of strain on those axles as you possibly can. Because these things, mowers in and out all day, I don't care what anybody tells you, at some point in time, axles are gonna have to be replaced. Um, Notice the video, uh, one of my most faithful people that I follow, I follow most faithfully, Brian's Lawn Maintenance, shout out to Brian again. Uh, rocking and rolling son, keep it up, learn a lot from you. But just recently, he posted a video about one of his axles clearly being bent. I guess he's going through some some trials and tribulations, so God be with him. Um, same for me. I, I know that at some point in time I'll have to replace these daggum axles, and it's just a cost of doing business. So uh, when they do get replaced, yeah, we'll be going with 6,000 pound axles, and we'll be ripping the bed out and putting some bracing in there and really, really making this thing a little bit heavier while we're inside it, but that's for another day. So rear gate, uh, pretty standard rear gate. No no issues whatsoever with the rear with the rear gate. I'm curious to see how all this is going to hand out, how all this is going to pan out after hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of uses, coiling up, undoing it, coiling it up, undoing it. One good thing about it um, is it appears to be removable. You can take it out and get a new spring put in there. So everything has been thought of. It's not welded up. There's a there's one of these uh, alligator clips here. Take that out slide it out and i'm sure you just slide a new uh slide a new one in and uh you'll be good to go that'll be an interesting little deal try to not see, try to see no get decapitated by a spring come flying out if you guys are in the ar market i'm sure this one looks to me to be like the ejection port door on an ar pin pretty same concept and be pretty easy to do so uh overall everything very heavy duty standard um grade eight hardware on most of everything on here pretty nice Fantastic uh, build, fantastic quality, very nice paint, just everything about it really, really good. Um, I would suggest, you notice we did a review on the Ericsson wheel chocks, and this is uh, how we got our set up, set up a little bit, little bit farther back, because one of the things that we ran into with this company truck, which hopefully that one will not be the primary com company truck come next year, the thing we ran into is we load the Turf Tiger up on this thing, uh, move the turf tiger all the way to the front. The issue is not the trailer. The issue is the damn truck. It puts too much tongue weight back of the truck squats so much so that those chains are dragging the ground. And that's the problem with an F-150. Okay. Um, start stacking that much weight on it. You're maximizing pretty much what you're pretty much putting the load on there on that F-150. It, it'll pull it, but it damn sure squats it a lot. Um, so, you know, our loadout, turf tiger front, be right back. Plenty of length, no issues there. But we're at an issue now where I can't haul both of my mowers. So, if we're going out on a job, I can't put both of the mowers on the trailer at the same time because I would have to move the V ride or the, the turf tiger up to the front, put the V ride on the back. We use it, we'll just say that we, we use the V ride far more than we use the turf tiger. We only have two yards really that uh, the turf tiger is applicable on. But it would be nice to be able to hang to put it on there. It turns out that, that that yard is only a few miles from the house. So we hit all of our other yards and we're doing about 15 yards. Uh, go hit those, come home, switch out the loadout. It sucks. It does suck, but hey, it's the equipment we got. Um, and the limitation right now is not the equipment, the limitation is the tow rig. Gonna have to fix it. So um, Anyway, fantastic trailer, fantastic uh, build quality, design. I mean, everything about it is good. Love it. It's going to fit us just fine. Uh, and in the future, I anticipate we'll move over to an enclosed box trailer for our for our services and let this one just be the landscaping trailer. But, you know, for now, this is where we're at. It is what it is. 
Um, great start. You will notice there are no racks on this trailer. No racks whatsoever. I am not confident enough in any of them. haven't had hands on any of them um, well enough or long enough to know which ones I like, which one fits. Uh, I know Equipment Defender has some nice racks. Uh, Green Touch, I think they have some nice racks. But I'm going to say this. I, I, uh, I looked at Green Touch just minutes before posting this video and they show to be out of like all their most important pieces i don't know what that's what's up with that i've seen that several times on their website sold out sold out sold out so i'm not sure what the deal is with that um they, they do have one available it's the four unit rack i believe and i don't need that many i don't besides all that i don't want my rack way up here i would rather have twos on each side than to have the big giant four one so i don't need that seems that their two and threes are out um you know the issue we have right now is obviously everything's just getting stuck in, stuck in the bed and all that so we haven't put anything on there so if you guys do me a favor and, and comment with what you're using are you using equipment defender green touch it's kind of like everything else there seems to be a faithful following of either side um what do you like and why that's so i'm going to title this uh as a review um, also uh, a loadout kind of uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys use. I'd like to know. I see a lot of crews running around down the Metroplex. Uh, man, they all got uh, a lot of them green touch. Some of them have, some of them have defender, but those seem to be the only two options. So if there are any other options that you know, know of, let me know. Uh, and I do see a lot of them. I, 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 I'm not really a fan of them. They're the trailer with the built-in cage and all that. Yeah, man, I, I, I can call it my occupational hazard I guess or occupational issue I, I want to be a professional I want to look professional I want everything to look like I'm a professional keep your equipment clean keep your ride clean um, have everything squared away a place for everything to go you don't just throw it back into a cage it's built onto the trailer I can't stand that it looks like it looks it looks nasty I, I want to project an image and I think that's one of the reasons why we've gotten so much business so quickly is because when we pull up we are professionals we look professional everything looks good um, so, you know, I want something that's going to look good, it's going to function good, because, you know, our stuff stays clean, it stays nice, and um, we're out here to project an image. So, whoever, whatever company is out there that matches well with our business model, that's what I want, you know. So, not just so much about the equipment, but it's about the company relationship. So, let me know what you think, guys. We're going to get off of here. This is the Big Tex uh, 70, I believe it's the 70, 70 TV, I think. I'll put it in the comments. Have a good day, dude.